Alright, this is the machining operation that finishes the back side of the camber spacer. Here's the first one, the second one with the attempted chamfer, the third one, I put in some finishing operations, you can see the differences here. This is with all roughing operations, no finishing operations. See there's a edge on there for the chamfer. That was badly done, I didn't have a parameter about the end mill entered correctly. Finishing operations definitely leads you to finish compared to this one. And then these were done earlier today. The hole in the middle wasn't quite the right diameter. They were also the first ones to test the run on the back side. So seven and a half inches per minute, 70% step over. A little bit much on the loading on the end mill. There's some notable, notable you know, snags there. Probably a couple thousandths of a step. I just in some parameters, slowed it down a little bit. Still didn't get me anywhere. And then these are the final production pieces, production intent prototypes. I reduced the step over on this one, but put the feed rate back up to seven and a half inches per minute. Right, let's review here. This was 70% step over, seven and a half inches per minute. This was 70% step over with five inches per minute. This was 50% step over with seven and a half inches per minute. I think this one was the same. Uh, no, this one this one was a 50% step over with two and a half inches per minute. Slowed it way down. That's what I'm running right now. The, uh, the grooves are way less notable. That's, there's one that's on there, but probably down under a thousand. See, there's a lot of or characteristic marks that tell me there's some flexing of the part that's going on when the part is being machined. Some funny effects there. I think that's because the, uh, the thin section and how tightly I'm holding the uh, work in the machine. I think that's causing it. And I'm working on number three out of the batch right now and then this will be the fourth one to run. G's were good. It's one of the ones where I got the whole diameter correct after several uh, several different versions to get the inside diameter correct on that. So these were the four that we finished for production. The production production intent prototype. It's kind of loud, so I figured I'd come take a look, see what the heck is going on.
just some vibration, nothing special, it looks like.